Welcome back everybody to another episode of Ocean's Outlast. Now, in between episodes, I farmed the Wither a reasonable bit. I managed to get 21 Nether Stars. Now, I was aiming for 20 for one specific reason, but besides that, I got a couple other things that are going to be very helpful. I got 42 uh, Supremium Essence. Now, with 42 Supremium Essence, I can do quite a bit, actually. But I also was getting some of these Infinity Booster cards that you can place up to 2.14 billion of these cards into the infinity booster card slot of a wireless crafting terminal. So, uh, a wireless crafting terminal. I did not look this up yet. A wireless crafting terminal would be what? I don't even see it. Flux controllers, random stuff. So, a wireless crafting terminal, I don't even see. Wireless terminal, wireless terminal. Okay, so I guess that's not something that we, oh, wireless crafting terminal right here. This thing. So, I can't use, what are you, of course, what are you doing, okay, whatever. Wireless crafting terminal, flux pearl wireless terminal and ME crafting terminal. I'm assuming that somewhere in there is a slot for these, but I was just getting those. I got a few of them, I don't really know, so. We will uh, just throw those back in there. I'm not going to be using the Supremium Essence right now. I also got these because they looked like they would be pretty interesting. There are two scrolls. This one prevents damage for a full second every five seconds. And then this one enhances my vision. I got both of these from the Wither as well. Now, I don't know exactly the best time to be using those would be, but I figured I'd at least show them since I got them. But the main thing I wanted to do with these nether stars now is, uh, let me go to this and go to advanced combat, the advanced nether star sword. This requires two blocks of uh, nether stars, which is 18 of them, plus it requires the nether star sword, which is two more. Hence me needing 20 nether stars. So if I make us the nether star sword, then I have to go into here and I'm going to have to make us the inferium sword. So that means that I am going to actually have to get these. So I actually might not be able to make this right now. I was really hoping I was able to, but I did not actually look into it on how to make it. So that means that I am going to have to get uh, yeah, I have to get base essence ingots, which I'm going to have to get the ivory PSI metal ingot. And I am going to have to advance in PSI in order to do that. So, I might be trying to make some, uh, some different stuff here. So, I don't know exactly how to do, you know anything in here i don't know how many times i've said this i just it doesn't it, this mod just does not make sense to me like i'm just trying to go based off of stuff that seems like it would be like what you need to do so like i just kind of have been throwing stuff in there and hoping that it works because it's like I don't know what any of these numbers mean. So let me uh, do this, do this, and speed will do like that. And a target uh, caster. But then there's an issue with explode. So 
Power needs to be a number. Position is vector. So a position needs to have a vector, apparently. So that means that you need to be that max. Uh, you would have to be like this max of three. You, I'll just delete this stuff then because I don't think that's anything right there. Uh, trick explode position power. I need a position. I can't just use the caster for the position. I would much rather just blow myself up and just get past this. Um, so let me throw like this in there. My target will be caster. This worked. I don't know how, but it worked. Sweet. Inscription was successful. So let me get my focusing rod. Focusing rod right here. And let me just go click that. Now, this says explode. So I'm expecting an explosion. So I'm going to get away from the stuff that is important. Just in case something goes wrong. My rod stats are too weak to use this spell. So that means I'm going to have to get a new rod. So I'll throw all those in there. And hopefully this is enough to use. Okay, so now let's head back out here. And we will see. Why are you on top of my house? Go away. Another, oop. That's right. I can't use it with another rod in my inventory. Uh, I'll just drew up and go, bah. Nope. Okay, so this is not, it messed up because I had two rods in my inventory. So let me throw that one in here. And now I got to retry to put the, uh, the spell on this one because... I forgot that the game, like, breaks when you try to learn a spell with two rods in your inventory. So, now, a whole lot of up and down stairs, just because I would rather not accidentally blow everything up. No, it's still not working. Spell selected, none. Alright. Why don't you want to select the spell? I know that the spell inscription worked. You're making a bedingling noise. Power. I need potency of 210. How do I increase the potency on this? I did everything that I could. What if I lower this number to like a 1? Ooh, not 31. A 1. Okay, so I could have done it with my other one, but I just, uh, just because I had that number as a three, I think the spell was just a little bit too strong for me to be able to use. So, that's fine. It's still not selecting the spell. Okay, well, I think I might have, uh, broken something here. An accident. Uh, let me try to bring my other rod back out. If it will type in here. So our normal, just basic rod. All right, and now let's try to come back out here and see if it works. Okay, and spell target is outside maximum 32 block radius. Spell target. Who's, what is the spell target? I 
I'm using the spell, but it's not leveling me up. Oh, it did, it did level me up. Okay. It just didn't show that it leveled me up. So that means that I can now move on to the next set of tasks. I gotta complete a whole bunch of them, but I gotta get to level 10 before I can start making this uh, PSI metal. So I don't know how this is really gonna work. Level five, level five, level five, level six, level six, level 10. Uh, I'm level four. This would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'm assuming I just have to complete all these in order before I can uh, continue on. But we will try. So operator closest to point is the one that I need to use. So let me, uh, I guess, just clear this out. And now, oh, I forgot I gotta go and I actually have to learn them. So I can't learn this one until I get this one, but I can look into them at least and they're white for whatever reason. Okay. So let's go back into here. This right here is what I need to use. So my target, caster, position, uh, the position will be nearby entity position. So my target will be nearby animal. Okay, so that doesn't work. I don't know if, uh, I'll be able to figure out this next one just by randomly inputting because there's too many options. So I will try to look this up. Like I said before, if anybody knows how to quickly get through the levels on that because it's just very confusing and every time I look it up, it's for like a different version of that mod for tutorials where it's guns instead of magical wands. So if anybody's got any videos that they know of to kind of speed that process along that would be very very helpful uh other than that i did apparently complete a quest uh and as you can see uh i kinda i did have to come through and claim my money uh why is this stopped Okay, it's still going. It's just really slow. I had to reorganize this and I had to claim all the money in here because it was just getting to a ridiculous amount that I wasn't being able to keep up with. So I claimed all of that and I'm at $125,000. Uh, and if you don't remember, I ended the last episode off with like, I think 3000 So I had $122,000 down there. And the only reason that I spent all that was because we started doing auction house boxes. And so this time I'm going to do uh, these these uh, jackpot crates. So we're going to hope. I got some free spins. That just gave me 10. That just... Okay. 1. 10. 5. 1,000. 5. 7 grand. So that pays off for one of our ones that we just got let's go through our free spins two a re-roll five twenty come on just give me like another hundred grand or something pay off all the chests i just bought nothing all right we got one last one and it's our respin and it's only going to give us one so we tried we ended up losing about 50 grand but that's all right we're probably going to get it back in no time at all so it really sucks that i can't make that uh the inferium swords yet because that would have been a very nice uh little boost to our damage going from 25 and a half i think we have to 60 
and that's just the base upgrade so for this we need a base essence ingot uh a core remover oh we have to have an inferior sword in order to do that though so yeah in order to make one we have to get the base essence and that we need the psi metal so sadly this is not something that we're going to be able to do uh if I was able to get the automatic PSI machine, we'd be able to actually go through this pretty fast. Um, we do have the blueprint for this. Um, I don't know if I'm able to make it yet, but I know that I do have the blueprint. Um, did I leave the I might have left them up here. I don't really know how to use these blueprints though. Uh, automatic PSI. So if I just click on this, it brings me to this preview. So this is everything it looks like I need in order to make this machine. Uh, one machine controller, nine reinforced machine casings. I guess we'll just start looking through and we'll see if we are able to, we need two ivory PSI metal blocks. So. This is not going to be something that we're going to be able to do without progressing through the levels. Which really sucks. Alright, so I haven't gotten PSI from anything else yet, right? No, the only PSI I have is the dust. So it looks like we are going to have to continue on until I am able to uh, figure out that mod a little bit better. So... While that's going then, um, I also did make the conveyor belts and set them up inside of the mob spawner here. Just to try to bring them in quicker to this. So, hopefully that'll be able to help us out a little bit. Uh, it looks like my obsidian armor is actually finally starting to break, sadly. So, I'm going to have to make us some new armor. Uh, one other thing I did want to get going in here is upgrading this, making a couple more ender alternators. Now, as much as I didn't want to make this auto sifter, I might end up doing it. I mainly didn't want to do it because it's kind of just going to be a waste of materials because I need a ton of infinity dust to do it. Whereas if I was making like this auto heavy sieve, I don't need any of it. I just need to get cold iron, which I need this bottled frost fire. Which I guess I could get lucky enough to find a villager that will trade me for it. But that's not going to be happening. Uh, and I needed to get white sage, which I have not been able to find yet. Uh, other than that, I have, I actually didn't look and see if I got, uh, no, I never got one of the other pieces for this either. Um, I put this in to try to get the cloudy oil, but we never ended up getting the cloudy oil. I think that the cloudy oil might just be something that I could put in there into this slot. Now that I'm thinking about it, but to, it says that's to make it and it shows that that's the only way to get it, but it doesn't tell me like a percent chance of dropping on it. So we might just have to keep on trying at that and I might just have to go and explore to try to find all of these pieces. Even with this, uh, I have to throw an acacia in here. To get the acacia resin in the witch's oven. So I don't know exactly on the drop rates for this stuff. But it is clearly not that high. Because I have put I put 24 bread in there and it did not. Or I put 24 uh, wheat in there. Turned it all into bread and it didn't give me a single one. Which is kind of sucks. But I mean... It is what it is. Um, I wanted to see. Not 
can't do that, sadly. I wanted to see if we could be able to spawn in a villager, but it doesn't look like we can. So, I guess that we are just going to have to go and explore and hope that we are able to find a village and maybe we can find some of the other stuff that we need. So... It is turning daytime right now, so I guess that right now would be the best time to slash RTP. And we'll just get going. And actually, I need to move. Yep. Cancel that teleport. Give me some arrows before I leave. Uh, two stacks should be sufficient. Um, let me go to this and get a bag of holding. Because I'm probably going to want a little bit of extra. And I also forgot that I had these creep vines in here. So I'll have to... There's my food book. I was looking for that last time. But I'm going to have to turn those into some inferium seeds. And literally, like this is all just going back to me getting the capacitor going. So, like, this is just ridiculous. I have to get the PSI going in order to get the Inferium stuff going in order to get the basic capacitor so I can make a farming station. It's just ridiculous. So now let's get going on the teleport here. And all right. So it looks like there's a battle tower. What in the hell is that? What the um okay so note to self don't attack these penguin looking things did you see how fast that they just decided to beat the hell out of her um what is this wall though am i on the inside of it or the outside What the hell is going on here? So these are stone bricks, yeah. Okay, um, obsidian. Is this like a dungeon wall or something? I don't hear any mobs. This is probably gonna be stupid, but I'm gonna vein mine this obsidian. And we'll see if anything comes out of this. Um, yeah, I don't know what a wall this big could have to do with anything. No. This is solid obsidian. I guess I'm going to take advantage of this and I'm going to get a ton of obsidian because I need it for a lot of stuff. But... This is just ridiculous. I'm going to have to try to get on top of this wall. And, uh, see, like I said, I don't know if I'm on the inside of it or if I'm on the outside. Like, I don't see anything with this. I don't, I, I literally, even the map can't see an end to, to sight with this thing. Um... Do I just follow it until it ends? I don't even know. Um, I guess I'm going to try to get on top and we'll take another look. Um, do I have any building blocks? I wasn't expecting to have to do this much building. Uh... Yeah, this is literally solid obsidian inside of this thing, too. So, I need to figure out how to mark this on my map. Or, like, mark it so I can teleport back to it. Because if this thing is all solid obsidian, there's probably, like, millions of blocks of obsidian in inside of this. And I would never have to worry about going and looking for obsidian again okay enemies just came into view on the top of this now um 
I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to be dealing with. I'm assuming that they're on the top. Uh, this is all polished ancidite now. And andes andesite. Uh, so I am going to build out. Okay. So I can see them now. They're sitting down. Oh god, this is like... Why is this so scary? Like, what in the heck is going on here? Okay, so that guy's got a bow. They have spawners. He's coming at me now, so they are instantly aggravated. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take out this guy that's got the bow. Um, they use invisibility potions. Alright, uh, I don't think I have enough arrows for this. Alright, let's just... We'll just get into this and try our best. So it's a specter. Okay, this one looks like it's got iron armor. This guy's got diamond. 237 health. Oh boy. I should have brought an axe apparently. Alright. Well, the, at least their armor is apparently weak as all hell. Um, so there's another guy with a bow here. Yeah, and I didn't bring my, I didn't bring my, uh, my shield. So I'm going to have to do this all by hand in trying to avoid. Okay, for how, okay. A specter shield. So I have a shield now. What's the durability on this thing? A thousand? I don't know if my if I'm just really strong or if their stuff is just really weak. Okay, so I am going to have to say I'm going to take a break because if you look at that map, there is a shit ton of mobs over there. And it looks like this creeper might be coming at me. No, not yet. All right, so... Now, we have, uh, we've explored a lot of this already, and there is still not an end in sight. Uh, I'm really curious as to what this is leading to and or surrounding, but like I said, there is not, uh... There's not an end to sight of this thing. Right, so this guy does not have a shield. So he's not going to be able to block any of my hits. Alright, so I just have to try to pick off all of these guys from a distance. And then I should be good. Um, I don't know what that is up there. We got all kinds of mobs here. And a ton of these uh, banshees. Did I just shoot myself with an arrow? I don't know how I managed that, but apparently I did. There's an enchanted egg on the floor. I want to get that. Ooh, oh. mm. Where are you? Oh my god. I had this happen before. I forgot that Banshees did that. God damn it. Scaring the hell out of me. Alright, what's with this egg? A mystery egg from primitive mobs. Interesting. Okay, so that is a uh, 
I can't tell if it's a normal mob or if it's a blight version of him. I'm guessing. Mm. Uh, that's the other thing is uh, apparently there's invisible creepers here. I've already had uh, two of them blow me up. Uh, we are just getting halfway done with nighttime. So we are going to have to uh, try to skip ahead a bit here. Alright, well, I was trying to progress as much as I could. And I ended up dying because there was a lot of these things all around here. Um... I might just have to buy us an ender pearl because I have no idea what chest that they would be in. Because it doesn't really put them in a specific spot, it just kind of throws everything everywhere. So, I'm gonna give this... Uh, I found a eye of ender, not an ender pearl. And some ender lilies. Alright, so we are just going to go ahead and go to this. And we will buy... Alright, so it got messed up again. So slash pay me one. Not eleven, one. Okay, and now we can go back into here. Give ourselves an ender pearl. And then combine it and then this can take us back to our grave so that being said it is turning daytime again um i ran out of arrows and since i died i really should have uh you know made myself some new armor while i was back there grabbed myself the extra arrows but you know i don't think that far ahead but I did some more exploring, and uh, yeah, I there's still not anything, nothing. It just looks like this thing goes on forever. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, speak of the devil, uh, there is a wall of lava up there now. I don't know what to make of that either. Stupid baby spider coming in to let him heal. Alright. Um, I think we're almost at the end of one side of it. Or not. No, that's just a meteor just crashed into the wall. Because apparently it's so big that a meteor is able to crash into it and it does like no damage to it. Of course. Uh, so. Let's get around these guys. Um, I believe I have all of the inscription pieces that I need. So. Uh, yeah, I just need to get enough blocks to get around this now. So this is stone bricks. I guess I'll grab some stone brick slabs. And then we can uh, build ourselves our pathway over this. So yeah, of course. No, this is not the end. This is just uh, just just a little glitch in it. Um. Of course, I'm out of arrows. Okay, then. Let's, uh, I guess we're heading down here. I really just want to be, like... I don't even know. I just want to, like, throw myself into creative mode and just fly down there just to see if there's anything. You know what I can do, actually? Because apparently this is all just going to be the exact same throughout here. So let's, uh... Kill you. Are you one of the nice people? I think you are. 
Well, you're running from me, so I guess I'll leave you alone. Alright, so we are going to get some wood here. Alright, and let's make ourselves a crafting table. I'm going to have to get one more piece of wood. And then... Um, I don't actually know if this is the same, and it is nice. So now, I don't have to worry about that. I'll just make a boat, and I'm just going to go and follow this along and see if there's anything different. Alright, I'm going to say this is the end of our search, because I'm getting sick of following this thing. So, let's, uh... I'm going to pull away from this island just a little bit. I'm going to throw my marker down. We actually got another underwater temple right here. So it kind of works. So if we ever do come back to this, we'll have uh, two little surprises maybe for us. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So now that's where we were. We are now all the way down here this thing stretched for so long it's just dumb like each one of these boxes is one chunk and that's how far this thing has come just stupid so we're gonna put this as a uh, wall thing question mark so we will save that and now I am going to just do a, uh, a slash home because I don't know what else to do with this thing. So let's get back. And apparently I stay in my boat. So let's head on downstairs. And oh gosh, I'm dying. All right. Let's check on our... Uh, Actually, let's uh, we'll throw this thing down here and it does have a lock so we oh our storage remote is not in this hand um, I guess look up key an iron key category metal category gems uh, so does that mean this isn't gonna work work on it because I think it's wood I guess I'll get out of my boat. No. All right then. Um. Okay, my boat is l or my boat. My uh, game is lagging quite a bit right now, so I am gonna shoot my render distance back down. And just for the sake of this, my brightness is down again. I don't know why it's doing that. Very bright now. All right, so let's try and uh, break you again. Right click, nothing is happening. So yes, this iron key does not work. Why do I keep going to my bag of holding? So I need to find this. This is the wood lock. I need to find the key to open that. A wooden key. I just need to find one apparently because I can't so I guess you're gonna be sitting uh, in my you're gonna be sitting in there until I find a use for you uh, let's throw all this stuff back in here because I don't actually give me that egg back I don't know what that was typing in there but uh, give me my egg my mystery egg okay do I spawn this in my base? Because I don't know what it, it's primitive mobs. I don't know if it's going to spawn something random from a mod that's going to decide to destroy my life. Or if it's going to uh, decide to do something else. So let's... We'll kill you. Uh, you know what I'm going to do real fast? I'm going to take this and I'm going to get... Uh, What is it called? Imprisonment tool. 
Um, so I don't have what I needed to do that, sadly. So, um, can I make a morb? Morb. It is a morb. Morb empty. So I need slag. I don't have slag. So I won't be able to make one of those. Uh, and I don't have the plastic to make one of the other things. Ah, I don't know what to do with this. Alright, you know what? We're going to get a... This fence gate. Uh, apparently I don't have any oak wood in here. So let's... We'll take this and oak, oak wood. Please, thank you. Throw that there. And now we can make ourselves another fence gate. Or I guess a single fence gate, because I don't have one yet. Uh, that was going into the water over there. Let's take the normal eggs, because I don't want to make sure I don't accidentally throw one of the... Uh, the one that's the mystery. So now I will take this, throw that right there, but just do it. Is that a baby support creeper? Are you gonna support me or are you gonna decide to blow up on me? He's giving me speed, strength, and fire resistance too. You're coming with me. We got ourselves a friend. An unlikely of friend, but a friend. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, name tag. Name tag. Give me this. How do I get it? Oh my gosh. Book and quill into mana fusion with a... Is that seriously how I have to get a name tag? Oh, I can buy one. Okay. So I can buy a name tag. Except, all right. You guys are going to decide the name of my little baby support creeper here. He is going to be our friend for the rest of the game. If anything happens to him, I will unleash hell upon those that have killed him. So, uh, please do leave a comment trying to find a name for him. He is a very speedy boy. So, uh, he's giving me little hearts. Uh, this is where I'm going to end off the episode. I do hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. And definitely leave a, uh, a comment on the video letting me know what you guys want as his name. Because we got the name tag for him now. He has given us all kinds of boosts. This is going to be so nice. I want to be able to give him armor and stuff. Anyways... Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.